Good afternoon. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, teacher. How are you? Fine. You're fine? Okay, great. Yes. Fine, teacher, and you? I'm fine, you know. How is this Friday going, class? ¿Cómo le van este viernes? Is it good? Is it a busy day? Bien alegre, teacher. Really? Why? Bien alegre de trabajo. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can imagine. But tomorrow, you don't need to go to work, right? No trabajan mañana, o sí? No. No. Okay, so. Aquí no. En la casa sí. En la casa sí. <laughs> <laughs> en serio, se tienen que llevar trabajo a casa. No, el trabajo de la casa. Bueno, y depende ah, también. <laughs> depende también. No, ese nunca acaba. Housework, sí. ese uh -huh. nunca acaba, you know. So, yes, I get it. Entiendo perfectamente. Bien, vamos a empezar. Let me see, just give me one second. Vamos a abrir la plataforma. Vamos a trabajar ahora en la plataforma, ¿ok? Para completar section number two. Y que quede ya todo listo. In the case, if you already have the exercises from section number two, you are just going to compare, ¿ok? Hay algunos que ya la completaron, section number one and section number two. So that's okay. Solo vamos a comparar, repasar la gramática y a desarrollar los exercises. Okay, so I already have, let me see, nine, no, eight students. Nueve, estamos bien ya. We can start already. Let me ask you, what day is it today? Hi, Jorge, what day is it today? Repasemos la fecha. Uh -huh. How do we express the date in English? Uh -huh. ¿Cómo hacemos la fecha correcta in English? Today is? Friday. 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 June. July. 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 Oh, we're not in June. Friday, Seven. July. Seventh. No, not really. It's not the seventh. Today is the. I know. Hey, Ivania. <laughs> what's going on, Ivania? Ivania, he's saying that it's June. We're in seventh June. I am the seventh June. Nine now. Think it's been a busy week. So it's true. It's July. Eight. So Friday, July. Two thousand twenty-two. Two thousand twenty-two. There we go. <laughs> Friday, July. 8, 2022. Six Very good job. Friday, July 8, 2022. Vamos a ver. It has been a while. Ha sido. Eh, quiero ver. Clase número 4 already. Class number 4 already. So look at this one. The topic that we have for today. Yesterday, we didn't have time to finish with activities from section number 2. So this is section number two. If you remember yesterday, we were having a reading conversation, a reading text at the end of the class. So that is part of section number two. So this is the last topic for section number two, the past of B, was and where. So it has been a while. Como le dije, yesterday I was motivating you to go and practice. Speaking practice is necessary. Okay. So, vamos a practicar más el speaking. Que desarrollemos más el poder hablar más rápido. Okay, speaking practice is necessary. Because with the grammar topics, you are okay. You understand the grammar topics, the exercises as well. But speaking, we need to practice speaking, right? So, that's why I'm going to take back this type of activity. Do you remember this one? I need to challenge you. Necesito retarlos, okay? The tongue twister. This is not a basic tongue twister. This is an intermediate tongue twister, okay? So you can practice pronunciation in a faster way. This is a very short tongue twister. And it says like this. 
the first one we have a question. Do you want paper or paper? Do you know the meaning of paper? What is that in English? Paper. Hello? Pimienta. Pimienta, ¿verdad? ¿Saben que no tiene sentido en español, but in English? Yes, por la pronunciación. Paper. It's not piper, it's not paper. No, paper, paper. Do you want paper or paper? Paper or paper? Paper or paper? Which is cheaper? I want paper, not paper. If paper is cheaper than paper. Look, letter P. This is the base of our tongue twister today. Paper and paper, que se parecen bastante. Very similar pronunciation. And I guess we know all of the vocabulary. In español, creo que no tiene sentido. ¿Quieres pimienta o papel? Pimienta o papel, papel o pimienta. ¿Cuál es más barato? Quiero pimienta, no papel. Sí, la pimienta está o es más barata que el papel. Ven, no tiene sentido, pero la pronunciación en inglés sí. It makes sense, right? So let me try the first time slow. And then I'm going to try faster, okay? Do you want paper or paper? Acuérdense de la entonación de las preguntas. Paper, it goes up. Do you want paper or paper? Paper or paper? Paper or paper? Which is cheaper? I want paper, not paper. If paper is cheaper than paper. One more time. Do you want paper or paper? Paper or paper? Paper or paper? Which is cheaper? I want paper, not paper. If paper is cheaper than paper. That's it. Okay? I'm going to give you some seconds so you can read and practice. And then everybody is going to participate. So in this way, you are going to practice pronunciation, okay? Please challenge yourself. Retense a ustedes mismos, okay? If you are not sure about the pronunciation, ask me. But I need you to practice today, okay? So do I have volunteers to start with this practice? Or do I have victims for today? What do you prefer, volunteers or victims? Teacher. Yes, please. Eh, no puedes repetir otra okay, vez. Okay, por... yeah, right. Vamos a ir más despacio. Number one. Si quieren pueden repetir after me. You can repeat after me. Number one. <laughs> do you want paper you want or paper? paper? Go class. Do you want pepper or paper? Do you want pepper or paper? Pepper or paper? Paper or pepper? Pepper or paper? Paper or pepper? Okay, great. Now we have a question. Which is cheaper? Which is cheaper? Acuérdense la entonación. Which, Cuando tenemos con, which is ajá, cheaper. Esta va para arriba la entonación. Cuando hay preguntas con WH word, which is cheaper? Which is cheaper? Which is, which cheaper? is cheaper? I want paper, not paper. I want paper, not paper. There we go. If paper is cheaper than paper. If paper is cheaper than paper. Okay, there we go. Do you want paper or paper? Paper. Oh, yeah, I confundí. Do you want paper or paper? Paper or paper? Paper or paper? Which is cheaper? I want paper, not paper. If paper is cheaper than paper. Okay, there we go. Now, who wants to try? The first one. Challenge yourself. Volunteers. Thank you. Lo, lo voy a intentar. Okay, I know you can do it. Do you want pe paper or paper? Paper or paper? Paper or paper? Which is cheaper? It want paper, not paper. If pe paper is cheaper than paper. 
Ok, vamos a calificar entre todos clases con un excellent, un very good, good, or repeat again para que sus compañeros sepan cómo lo hicieron. So, class, was this excellent, good, very good, or repeat again, repetir otra vez. Repeat again. ¿Cuál sería nuestra ponderación? ¿Cuál es lo que vamos a hacer con números? Yes. Good. Good. Okay. So try it again, please. Una vez más. I know you can do it. Okay. Okay, Elenilson. Elenilson, yes, go. Do you want paper or paper? Paper or, or paper? Paper or paper? Wheat is cheaper. I want paper or no paper if paper is cheaper than paper. There we go. That was great. Thank excellent. Wow. Very good job. Excellent. The second time it was excellent. Humildemente, teacher. <laughs> Humildemente. So, Elenilson va a elegir quien sigue. Who's next, Elenilson? Okay. Here you have your classmates. Take a look at your classmates. Who's next? Carlos. Carlos. Here we go with Carlos. Go, Carlos. Let me go back. Here we go. Okay. Do you want paper or paper or paper or paper? Paper or paper? Which is cheaper? I want paper or no paper. If paper is cheaper than paper. Okay, class. Repeat again. Excellent. Very good. Repeat. What is your opinion? Repeat. Okay, repeat. Repeat. Lo primero que digan voy a aceptar. Okay, repeat. Carlos, try it again. Do you want paper or paper? Paper or paper? Paper or paper? Which is a cheaper? I want paper or no paper. If paper is cheap, then paper. Okay, so remember, paper, pimienta, paper. So there we go, Carlos. Carlos, pick one of your classmates. Who's next? Gustavo. Gustavo. I know you're ready, Gustavo. Go, please. Okay. okay. Do you want paper or paper? Sorry, sorry. No, no, no. The other way around. Go. Do you want paper or paper? No. Pa paper or paper? Do you want paper, paper or paper? Paper or paper? Paper, pa paper or paper? Which is cheaper? I want pa paper or no paper. If pa paper paper is cheaper than paper. Okay, class, that was excellent. Good, very good, or repeat again. What is your opinion, class? Good. Good, okay, good. So, Gustavo se salvó, nadie dijo repeat again. Don't confuse, paper, paper. Okay, paper and paper. Very good job. Gustavo, pick one of your classmates. Josué. Josué, go please. Hello, teacher. Hello, Josué. Go. Okay. Do you want a paper or paper? Paper or, or, or paper? Paper or Paper, uh, which is cheaper. I want paper, not not paper. If paper is cheaper than paper. Okay, how was it, class? Excellent, great. Repeat again. What is your opinion? Repeat. Repeat. Okay, repeat. So, mm. okay, repeat. <laughs> okay, teacher. <clears throat> Do you want paper or, or paper? Paper or Paper, uh, paper or or paper, which is cheaper. I want paper, not paper. If paper is cheaper than paper. Wow. Okay. Now you did it great. Josué, pick one of your classmates. Tomen nota. <laughs> ¿Quién sigue? Who's next? Uh, Ruth. Ah, yo sabía, yo sabía. Sabía, yo sabía. Sabía, ya vio. Ay, no, yo sabía, Ruth va a decir que es revenge. Ok, revenge. Vamos, go please. Ruth, I know you can do it, Ruth. Ok. 
do you want paper, pa paper or paper? Paper or paper, paper, paper or paper. Which is cheaper? I want paper, not paper. If paper is cheaper, than paper. Okay, class. Excellent. Excellent. Good. Repeat. repeat again. Repeat, repeat. <laughs> okay, repeat. Second time, Ruth. Go, please. Me gusta escuchar. Yeah, I think we really like to listen to your voice. Go, do, do you want paper or paper? Pepper or paper, pepper or pepper. Which is cheaper? I want pepper, not pepper. If pepper is cheaper than pepper. Okay, we are going repeat, to practice. Repeat. Yeah, <laughs> repeat. Very good, very good. So, Ruth, pick one of your classmates. Aquí le toca, Ruth. Who's next? Quiero ver. Es Samuel. Ah, oh, Samuel. Okay, Samuel, go please. Where is Samuel? Let me see. Ah, there you are. Vamos, Samuel. Don't worry, you can do it. Slow if you want. Go. Your microphone. <laughs> Microfono, Samuel. Ya terminé. Ya terminé. No 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 ya terminé. Ya, ya terminé. Ya terminé. No, no, no. Hoy sí voy a hacerlo. Go, please. Ah, no. Los demás aquí escucharon. Ah, ok. ¿Cómo fue clase? ¿Repeat o excelente? Repeat. Ah, repeat. So, yes, you need to repeat. Go, please. Do you want paper or paper? Eh, the paper or paper, paper or paper, which is cheaper and one Paper on paper is paper is cheaper and um, paper. Down paper. Okay. Okay. Great. Great, Samuel. So Samuel. Repeat, they say. Samuel, who's next? Can see it. Uh, uh, Ivania. Ivania. Go please. Yo no dije nada. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Pero lo pensaba. <laughs> Go, please, Ivania. Okay. Do you want pepper or paper? Pepper or paper? Paper or pepper? Which is cheaper? I want pepper, not paper. If paper is cheaper than paper. Barbara. Oh, wow. Great. Excellent. Excellent. Great. Great. You know, but at the end, solo fue uh, una, yeah, una palabra. Excellent repeat for learn. Again. Okay. So, aquí, <laughs> Ivania, you said paper, you know, it was paper. So, yes, repeat again. And now you can do okay. it excellent. Okay. Do you want pepper or paper? Pepper or paper? Paper or pepper? Which is cheaper? I want pepper, not paper. If pepper is cheaper than paper. Okay. Now it's excellent. Great. Don pepper. Yeah. Pepper. <laughs> Ivania, one of your classmates. Mm -hmm. uh, Lupita. Lupita, go please. Do you want paper or paper? Paper or paper, paper or paper. Which is cheaper? I want paper, not paper. Is pepper is cheaper than paper? Okay. Mistakes. I didn't identify mistakes. Class was is excellent, good, very good, or repeat again. Excelente. Okay, excellent. Buenas compañeras tienen Lupita. Okay, Lupita, <laughs> who's next? Um, Janira. Janira, okay. And now you can do it, Janira. Bye. Do you want pepper or paper? Pepper or paper, paper or pepper. Which is cheaper? I want pepper, not paper. If pepper is cheaper than paper. Wow, that was excellent. No corrections and great pronunciation, Janira. An applause for Janira. Who's next, Janira? Um, Rita. Rita. Mm. Qué linda. Gracias, Rita. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, right? <laughs> okay, go, Rita. Okay, do you want paper, 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 on paper, paper or paper, 
which is cheaper. I want paper, no paper is paper is cheaper than pe paper. <laughs> Come on. Repeat, repeat. Hadid, repeat. It was so good. Hadid, repeat. Oh, I know. Thank you, George. Pepe la pudi. Do you want pe paper on paper? Paper on or papers? Paper or paper? Which is cheaper? I want paper, no paper. Is paper is cheaper than paper? Okay, done. And paper. That. Okay. Rita, great job. Who's next, Rita? Repeat, repeat. No, oh, no. She did. Right. Uh huh. Uh huh. Thank you. <laughs> um, ay, ¿qué le falta? Don't worry, I'm going to help you. Look. Alberto. Alberto is missing. Who else? Gabriela. Jorge. And that's it. So, and uh, the Nilsson, I guess. We're missing four. Who's next? Ah, Alberto. Ah, Alberto. Okay, Alberto. Go ahead, please, Alberto. Okay. I know you can do it. Okay. Do you want paper, paper or paper, paper or paper, paper or paper? Which is cheaper? I want paper, not paper. If paper, if cheaper, that paper. Class. Excellent. Good. Very good. I repeat. Repeat again. Ah, repeat again. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was ready, he says. Okay, repeat with uh, Do you want paper or paper? Paper or paper? Paper or paper? Which is cheaper? I want paper, not paper. If paper is cheaper than paper. Wow, that was excellent. The second time, no corrections. Excellent job. You see, Alberto, you did a great job. Who's next, uh, Alberto? Lore. Okay, Lore. Go Yo lo consideraba mi amigo. <laughs> but not anymore, dice. Hasta este día. <laughs> Go for it. Okay. Do you want paper or paper, paper or paper, paper or paper, which is cheaper? I want paper, not paper. If paper is cheaper than paper. Class? No. <laughs> repeat, van a decir. Repeat, repeat. Ah, repeat, okay. The Please. class says repeat, okay. Ay, no, lo tengo que repetir unas tres, cuatro veces entonces. No, 20, no, 20. Okay. okay, 20 times only. Do you Go. want... Do you want paper or paper, paper or paper, paper or paper, which is cheaper? I want paper, not paper. If paper is cheaper, that paper. Okay, so the only correction is paper. Pepper. Pepper. Okay, paper, I don't know what that means, you know? Let me check what that means, but no. Paper, okay. Paper, okay. Pepper, ya me confundieron. Pepper. <laughs> Lorena, who's next? I would have. Gabby. Gabi, I know you can do it, Gabi. Go, please. Okay, I try. <laughs> yeah, please. Do you want pepper or paper? Pepper or paper? Paper or pepper? Which is cheaper? I want pepper, not paper. If pepper is cheaper than pe paper. What do you think, class? Very good. Very good? Okay, so who's the last one? Last one, Gabi. Mm, okay. Do you want pepper or paper? Pepper or paper? Paper or pepper? Which is cheaper? I want pepper, not paper. If pepper is cheaper than paper. Class, what is your opinion? Excellent. Repeat again. Excellent. 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 Okay, considerado. Very good job. So, do not forget pepper, pimienta, pepper, 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 pepper. So, I need you to practice a lot, you know, because pronunciation is very important. Muy bien. Lo hicieron muy bien. La idea es hacerlo más rápido, okay? Practice again. I'm going to send this information so you can keep on practicing about tongue twister. And as I mentioned, Bien, who's missing? Glenda but is Glenda in the class already? Oh, there she is. Está compartiendo pantalla. No lo vi. And 
Edenilson. So, Edenilson <laughs> or Glenda. Jorge, you pick one of your, your classmates. Can see it. Glenda? Glenda, okay. Are you ready, Glenda? Okay. Go, please. Do you want pepper or paper? Pepper or paper? Paper or pepper? Which is cheaper? I want pepper, no paper. Is pepper is cheaper than paper? Wow, great intonation. Oh, okay. Excellent. Excellent, right? Barbara, Barbara. Por eso me quedé de último, dice. Okay, because I know it, right? Excellent. The last one. Glenda, who is missing? What? ¿Quién nos falta? Glenda, who is missing? Eden Nilsson. Okay, Eden Nilsson. Let me look for Eden Nilsson. Okay, teacher. Go, please. Excelente. Ah, si no la ha dicho. Go on. Listen to your class, I said. Go. Here we go. Do you want paper or paper? Paper or paper? Paper or paper? Which is cheaper? I want paper, not paper. If paper is cheaper, then paper. Okay, class. Excelente, compañero. Excelente. Good. Repeat again. What is your opinion? Excellent. Repeat no, excellent. again. Excellent. Oh, repeat again because repeat paper. again. Repeat, right? Why? Because you need to say pepper. Pepper, no. Pepper. Okay, go in the Nielsen. Second time. Okay, la pipa. La pipa de mi papa. Ah, no, no. Uh, that is another one. But this is another Do one. you want pepper or paper? Pepper okay. or paper? Pepper or pepper? Which is cheaper? I want paper or paper. If paper is cheaper than paper. Okay. Class, what is your opinion? Yes. Excellent. Okay. So do not forget. Pepper, pepper, pepper. Repeat on the abyss pepper. Pepper, 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 pepper. Pepper, no. Pepper, pepper. please. Pepper pepper, 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 pepper. Yeah, everybody. Pepper, pepper, pepper. Do it, please. So you cannot confuse. So, it was great, you know, great practice. So look, what are we going to cover today? Avanzado, no, aquí estamos. Three, intermediate, two. ¿Cuál era el tema que les mostré al inicio? What was the topic at the beginning? El tema del inicio, ¿cuál era? The past of verb to be. Past of verb to be. Let me see. Aquí vamos. If you see, yesterday we were presenting the conversation. This was the conversation from yesterday, okay? About what they did last weekend, okay? So as a short review, let's have this video with the explanation. Here we go. Let's listen to it and then we are going to discuss about the vocabulary. Went to the park last weekend. I woke Let up me... late. Played in this session, simple past questions and answers will be introduced. Irregular and regular verbs will also be taught. Welcome back. So now it's time to study past tense. For us to succeed learning it, we need to learn verbs in simple past. We'll teach you how to make questions and how to answer in both affirmative and negative form. Please pay attention. Simple past. Did you work on Saturday? Yes, I did. I worked all day. No, I didn't. I didn't work at all. Did you go anywhere last weekend? Yes, I did. I went to the movies. No, I didn't. I didn't go anywhere. What did Rick do on Saturday? He stayed home and studied for a test. How did Meg spend her weekend? She went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends. Let's talk about questions in simple past. Did you realize the auxiliary we used? Did. We use auxiliary did for questions and short answers, positive and negative. Did you realize what happened to the question after we used it? See the next example. Did you go to the beach? 
Did he break the window? In each question, the verb is used in simple present because we use did. It is not correct to say, did you went to the beach? Did he broke the window? So remember, every time you ask a question in simple past, you need to use the auxiliary did and the main verb goes back to present. For short answers in affirmative and negative in simple past, we must use did within the answer as we saw on the chart. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. This takes us to say that we use verbs in simple past when we say affirmative sentences. Take a look at the following statements. They went to the park last weekend. I woke up late this morning. She came late to class. I suggest for you to study and learn verbs in simple past for you to express past activities and experiences. Great explanation. So let me Saturday? take some examples. Yes, I did. About interrogative statements with the simple past. Whenever we want to make questions with the simple past, we are going to use the auxiliary D. Look. ¿Qué usamos con el simple present tense? Para oraciones afirmativas en presente, ¿se acuerdan que ocupábamos? No para el pasado. With the simple present, no simple past. ¿Cuál era nuestro auxiliar para el simple present? ¿Se acuerdan? Do. do. ¿Y cuál es el pasado de do? Did. Did. ¿Ok? Misma estructura, solo que en pasado. The same structure that we were using with the simple present but in this case is the simple past ¿Qué hace un auxiliar no me permite modificar mi verbo the verbo the verb is always in the present form right did you work on saturday did you go anywhere last weekend? This is the first structure. We can also have questions to talk about the past using WH words. For example, what and how these are examples about the WH words. And what is the formula that are we going to, to follow to make questions. WH word, auxiliary, subject, verb, and complement. It's the same as the simple present, but in this case, we are talking about past actions. Look, as we have an auxiliary here, the verb is not going to change. Auxiliary did, and the verb is in the present. Spend. Okay? Esto es con preguntas. Hay dos tipos de preguntas en el pasado también. Lo mismo que en el presente. Want, using the auxiliary, or we can also use WH words. That's it. Don't forget about this one, please. You can start the question with do in the simple present and in the simple past is did and the WH words, okay? Ya vamos a ir a los ejercicios. Let's continue with the explanation. It's here. Look, what happened, if you see, she was asking, what happened with the verb in these questions? ¿Qué pasa con el verbo en estas preguntas? What can you say? It's in, it's in present. It's in present, yes. Did you go? Did you go to the beach? Look, present. Here we have the present. Because we use did. Okay. It is did. not correct to say, did you went to the beach? Did he broke the window? Okay. So remember, every time you ask a question in simple past, you need to. Let me go back to this. To the beach. Okay. Did it he is the not window? correct to say, did you went to the beach? 
Did he broke the window? Why not? ¿Por qué no está correcto? Because we already have. Because okay. the bear is in pass mm -hmm. and it's a question. And it's a question and because we are using an auxiliary. In any type of subject or sentences, interrogative sentences. If you have an auxiliary, remember the verb is not going to change. Esta regla aplica para el pasado y para el presente. Si tenemos un auxiliar, el verbo no cambia. It's going to remain the same. So, let's finish with this video. Short answers in affirmative, in negative, in simple past. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. This takes us to say that we use verbs in simple past when we say affirmative sentences. Take a look at the following statements. They went to the park last weekend. I woke up late this morning. She came late to class. I suggest for you to study and learn verbs in simple past for you to express past activities and experiences. Great. So let's go to practice. In the platform, if you see, we have the first exercises. We need to complete the conversations by making questions and answers in the simple path. Look, identifiquemos. Number one, is this a question? Is this an affirmative statement? Negative? What is this? Number one. Question. 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 It's a question, right. ¿Qué auxiliar ocupo para el pasado? Did. Did. Muy bien. Third question. Tercera pregunta. ¿El verbo cambia o no cambia? Is the verb no. going to change no. or no? No. So, what is the correct option? Number one, two or three. Three. Muy bien. Did is the auxiliary and the verb is stay. There we go. Number two. Help me out, please. Lupita. What is this? Is this Imagina. an affirmative, negative, or interrogative statement? It's three. I know two, one. Ten, ah, okay. Tenemos dos oraciones en una sola expresión. Is this negative, interrogative, or affirmative? Lupita. A negative. Uh -huh. Negative in the second one. Y la segunda, ¿qué será? Affirmative. Affirmative. Bien, ya tenemos esa idea. And the first one, it's a reply. La primera es una respuesta que vamos a dar. ¿Cuál es el auxiliar que vamos a ocupar para responder en negativo? No, I didn't call. Didn't call. Which is the ones? Did call. Didn't. Recuerden call. que esto ya es un auxiliar. Y si tenemos un auxiliar, ¿qué va a pasar con el verbo? It's no, not no, going no, to change. No va a cambiar. Ok. Primera opción, great. Number two. ¿Cuál es el pasado del verbo drive? What is the simple pass of the verb drive? Draw. Draw. So which is the correct one? Number one, two, or three? One, two, or one. three? One. One. Porque la dos no está correcta. Porque el verbo. Pues pas. El verbo lo está poniendo en pasado. Y tenemos un auxiliar. Very good job. Number three. Let me see. Gustavo. What is your opinion about this one? Affirmative, negative, interrogative statement. What is this? I guess he's not there. Okay, he's there. How do you spend the trick? How do you three, spend? Three, three, is three. Muy bien. Did and spend. Muy bien, porque el verbo no va a cambiar. That's it. Very good job. Number four. Ruth, give it a try. 
Probemos, Ruth. Y tenemos tres partes en una oración. Una affirmative. The second one is. Affirmative. And the third idea is negative. En las afirmativas necesitamos auxiliar, Ruth, ¿o no? Do we need an auxiliary for the affirmative? Sí. Uh -huh. ¿Class? Oh. No, solo necesitamos oh. auxiliar para oh. interrogative oh. and negative. ¿Ok? Solo ahí vamos a ocupar la auxiliar. La, la tabla, oh. Muy bien, entonces, I have, or I had. Oh. I have. What is the past of this one, Ruth? The past of the verb had. Had, muy bien. Entonces puede ser la uno o la dos. Muy bien. Enjoy, what is the past of enjoy? Enjoy. Enjoy, ok. Again, puede ser la uno mm -hmm. o la dos. Ambas tienen la misma respuesta. And the last one, not like. Didn't. Didn't like. Or didn't like. I didn't like. Muy bien, aquí está. Esa es la diferencia. Great job. Number five is easy. Yanira, it's a question. Pick the auxiliary and the verb. Number five. Is auxiliary is did. Did and the verb? Uh, do. Muy bien. What did you do? Great did job. Do. <laughs> did and do. Number six. Did see, uh, tenemos two affirmative in number six. Ellen Nilsson, try please. Two affirmative. Okay, teacher. I went uh -huh. uh, to the new Jim Carrey Phil Low. It's uh, la number three. Very good. Because the pass of go is went and the pass of love is loved. Very good job. Number seven. Josué. This is a question. Elijamos el auxiliary and the verb for number seven. Um, do. Okay. And the verb? Uh, do. Do. Muy bien. Did you do anything special over the weekend? Very good job. Number eight, Rita. This is an affirmative expression. The first one. Yes, I. Just this one. Yes, I. Is the 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 last answer did? Aha. Went. And did when? Spent. The first. The first option. one, yes, it's not the last one. Did, I went, uh -huh. and spent. Recordemos, tenemos en este caso tres afirmaciones. Yes, I did, went, spent. Spent is the past. Very good job. Number nine, this is a question. Pick the auxiliary and the verb. Anyone in the class. Did. No? Okay, go. Did and? What is the past of this verb? The pasado de sing. What is? Sang. Sang. So, one, two, or three? Three. Okay. Mm. Será la tercera. Mm. Pero como mm. tenemos second. un auxiliar, Jorge. Oh, no. Second. Ajá. Si ya tenemos un auxiliar, ¿qué pasa? Did you sing? Did you sing at the party? Did, very good. Did you sing? Ah, Sorry. very good job. No, don't worry. Okay. Lorena, try with the last one. No, I. No, I didn't. Porque es eh, una mm -hmm. respuesta, o sea, negativa. Yes. Pero en las tres dice didn't. ¿Cuál es el correct okay. spelling? No, I. Uh, Ah, sería la, la one. 
Ah, ok, number one. Muy bien, aquí está correcto. Did not, the short form is didn't. Let me check on this one. There we go, 25 out of 25 points. So, did you get the same replies? If not, you can compare and correct right now. Here we go. Okay, the other one that we have. This is a listening exercise. Listening exercise. So take a look at this one. Listen to John and Laura describe what they did last night. Check the correct information about each person. And we have four. Okay, this is a very short exercise. Vamos a ver qué hicieron last night. Vamos, clase. Here we go. Okay, just give me one second. Okay. Listening. What did you do last night? Okay. Part A. Listen to John and Laura describe what they did last night. Check the correct information about each person. Here we go. So, what did you do last night, John? Uh, I went to my boss's house for dinner. Really? How was it? Oh, the food was okay, but the people weren't very interesting. They talked about football all night, and I hate football. Then, we watched some boring sports videos. I didn't get home until after midnight. Well, that doesn't sound like much fun. I had a great time last night. I went to a party and met an old school friend of mine. We haven't seen each other for years, so we had lots to talk about. We stayed at the party all night. Hmm, it sounds like you had a much better time than I did. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, now, second time we are going to listen for detail. Escuchemos para detalles, here we go. Listening. What did you do last night? Part A. Listen to John and Laura describe what they did last okay, night. Okay, let's start with John. Check the correct information about each person. So, what did you do last night, John? Uh, I went to my boss's house for dinner. Really? How was it? Oh, the food was okay, but the people weren't very interesting. Okay, what is he expressing? The food was okay. But the people weren't, were not, weren't interesting. Okay, no fueron nada interesantes. Let's continue. They talked about football all night, and I hate football. They talked about football all night, and I hate the football. Then we watched some boring sports videos. Then we watched some boring sports videos i didn't get home until after midnight well that and he says i didn't get home until midnight vamos a ver qué podemos responder who had a boring time was it john or laura john john and how about the last one who got home late who is expressing who got home late both. Okay. Both. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver si es verdad. It's both. Let's listen to Laura. That doesn't sound like much fun. I had a great time last night. I went to a party and met an old school friend of mine. I went to a party and met, me encontré, me reuní, I met an old school friend at that party. We haven't seen each other for years, so we had lots to talk about. We stayed at the party all night. We stayed at the party all night. Hmm. Yeah. It sounds like you had a much better time than I did. Yeah, I guess you're right. Very good job. So, what is the information about Laura? Did she have a good time or not? Yes. Yes, yeah. yeah, she did. So, who met an old friend from school? At that Laura, party, Laura, it was Laura. A school friends. Yeah, well, she wasn't. Yeah, she met a school friend. So she got late 
as well. So let me click on here to check about the information. Yeah, so this is the correct information. There we go. Very good job, class. Let me see. We are still missing this one, the last one. ¿Cuál es el pasado del verbo to be? Just like a quick review. You already know. Yo sé que ya lo saben. Was and where. But let's listen to this conversation. Here we go. In this session, participants will study the past of B. Questions and short answers will be taught. Okay. Hello. Nice to have you back. I'll make reference of the past of the verb B. Let's start. Past of B. Were you in Hawaii? Yes, I was. Was the weather okay? No, it wasn't. Were you and your cousin on vacation? Yes, we were. Were your parents there? No, they weren't. How long were you away? I was away for a week. How was your vacation? It was excellent. Contractions. Wasn't equals was not. Weren't equals were not. The past of be, am, um, and is, was, are, were. To ask questions using the past of be, we do it this way. Was, were, plus subject, plus complement, plus question mark. Were you my student? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Was she sad? Yes, she was. No, she wasn't. Were they late? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Remember, we used be to express feelings, conditions, states, and descriptions, either in present or past. Now you try answering the following questions. Were you my student before? Were you happy yesterday? Were you late this morning? Okay, interesting information. I guess that um, let me see, let me is, go back. What? Were your parents there? So if you see, what is the past of the bird to be? Was and where? Were you in Hawaii? Yes, I was. Was the weather okay? No, it wasn't. Were you and your cousin on vacation? Yes, we were. Were your parents there? No, they weren't. How long were you away? I was away for a week. How was your vacation? It was excellent. Okay, was and where. ¿Con quién vamos a ocupar was y con quién vamos a ocupar where? ¿Se acuerdan? ¿Quiénes son los sujetos que acompañan a was? I am you is. Okay. I. I. Uh -huh. No los escribo porque me cuesta con la compu. Was. I was. Podemos decir you was or you were? You were. You were, exacto. So, I was. She was. He was. And it, it was. was. Muy bien. I, he, she, it. Where? When are we going to use where? With what subjects are we going to use where? With you. They. They and we. We. You were, they were, we were. The contractions. What is the short form of was and what is the short form of where? Wasn't is equals to was not and weren't were, is the same equal, as were not. were not. Muy bien. Esto es para interrogativas, preguntas. Vamos a ver, vamos a la práctica. Let's go to the practice. Let's stop sharing this one. And let's check the last exercise. Okay, here we go. Remember that we need to practice making questions. This is the first exercise that we have here. Complete the following conversations. Remember to use the past of be, the past of verb to be, okay? 
Number one. Miren, tenemos acá una pregunta con una WH word. Y tenemos a los sujetos, que es parents. ¿Cuál es entonces el pasado que voy a ocupar? Was or where? Si tengo el sujeto, parents. Where? Miren. Was or where? Where, right? Where. Where. Eso es lo primero que tienen que hacer. Identify the subject. How long were your parents in Europe? Ahora tenemos una afirmación. They there for two weeks. Lorena, they was or they were? They were. They were. Very good job. Okay, second conversation. They. Yes, Alberto, go ahead. Una pregunta, teacher. Estaba viendo que, bueno, en la clase anterior había comentado que el único proverbio, uh, adverbio de, de frecuencia que se podía usar con to be era good. Pero en este caso sí podemos usar long. Let me see how long. En presente nada más no se puede usar, pero en pasado sí. Ok, let me go back to that information. El único que se podía usar, aquí está la información. Don't worry, let's go back. Aquí está. How long? No, good es el que se usa con el verbo to be. Uh -huh. Entonces, long también long? se puede, pero en pasado nada más. Sí, porque en este caso, acuérdense que está actuando como un auxiliar. El eh, where, en este caso, actúa como un auxiliar. No como el verbo principal. Esa es la diferencia. Ah, ok. So, sí. yeah. So, how long were your parents in Europe? Muy bien. So, help me out, Alberto, ya que eh, vamos, okay. a, vamos a ver. Número tres. Es una pregunta. Where? Una question. Porque el sujeto es they. They. Muy bien. And the last one. El complemento de esta, Ruth. No, they. Weren't. Weren't. Porque weren't. es negativa. Muy bien. Weren't. Were not, or you can also say weren't. There weren't. we go. Muy bien. There we go. Let me have Ivania and then Gaby. Complete the question and number six is the reply. Number six, Ivania. Number five, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, were you in Los Angeles last weekend? There we go. Capital at the beginning. Let me see. Were you in Los Angeles or Angeles last weekend? Gaby, no, I? Wasn't. Wasn't. Muy bien. Si se fijan, no respondemos con el mismo auxiliar. Es no, I wasn't. Very good. How it, how it. How was it? How, or how was it? What is your opinion? How was it? How was it? Muy bien. Jorge, continue, please. How was it? It? It was. It was, very good. Porque el sujeto es it. It was great, but it was foggy. ¿Saben qué es esto? Foggy. ¿Qué es eso? Foggy. ¿Cómo estaba el clima? It was foggy. Foggy. Busquen a ver qué es eso. And then we have the last question. You away last weekend? El sujeto es you. Que voy a utilizar was or where? 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 Yes, I? Where? Was. 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 La clave para el verbo to be es fácil, solo identificar el sujeto. Espero que el spelling esté correcto. Sí, lo tomó muy bien. En este caso yo hubiera puesto mayúscula inicial, pero también lo acepto así. Very good job. Was and where. Okay. So, 
questions about this exercise. Creo que este lo estuvimos viendo en qué era pre-intermedio 1, no. El módulo anterior al pre-intermedio, si se recuerdan, estuvimos repasando esta estructura también. The simple past. Regular and irregular verbs and the past of verb to be. So, I need you to go back and practice again using the verbs. But we are all right. Por eso no me detuve tanto en la explicación porque ya eh, lo explicamos anteriormente, pero si necesitan ejercicios extra, solo díganme para buscarlo y enviárselos, ok, al chat. So questions, comments about this exercise, section number one and section number two? Or is it clear? Preguntas. Tenemos un minuto. No questions. Hemos pasado. So I'm just going to send the tongue twister. Practíquenlo, por practice so you can improve your pronunciation. And we are going to stop the class here. So on Monday, we are going to continue with a different topic, section number three, okay? I really hope you to have a great afternoon and a great weekend. Take care. Great and weekend, you too. Right, thank you. Portense bien, nos vemos. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. See you on Monday. Bye, teacher. See you on Monday, yes. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher.